Hello guys, this is Ecom Ashford here now. This this um section of this call will be about Snapchat ads. So the two platforms where I promote all my products on at the moment is giving me a lot of scalability and all my products, winning products on dropshipping. And that's TikTok ads and Snapchat ads. Um they both have the same portrait video layout when you put the ads on, so it's really really cool. Uh, you're able to just copy paste the videos you make on TikTok ads and just paste it onto and use it for Snapchat ads. So it's a really really good way of you scaling your brand because you can use two platforms at once instead of you know just having one. You know should I have different marketing platforms out there to promote? So Snapchat ads very very good. You should be using it, and I'll be telling you how to do it from scratch, how to test the ad out, and how or what you should be doing after that when you're scaling. All right. So first thing you gotta do when you go on Shopify is always always you gotta download the Snapchat. Um, snapchat app on shopify so you can connect your pixel and um, so if i go here on my shopify and search up snapchat <coughs> you just have to download that first app that comes up this one here this is the one you download and you add the app very easy to do it'll come up on your shopify you lie sign but at the same time you have to also uh, on google just go on google right now and search up um snapchat ads manager if you search up on google sign up on there and it will come up like this so it will come up as uh, for example if i go here yeah so it'll come up like this with so a snapchat ads manager where you're able to put on any ads and whatever comes up so this is the, this is the platform where you're able to put ads up so as soon as you signed up on snapchat ads i want you to also go back to shopify store and add this snapchat ads app um i can go through this and let me just give you the basics of what you need to do so you just need to start set up so yeah add your account here um, so you just press connect and you just as soon as you connected that you can also set up the pixel and whatever the pixel comes up here it will you know um that same pixel will will be integrated on your snapchat so if you're going to manage ads you'll go on your pixel section here <coughs> the new pixel that you make over here you're able to just create one here and you know connect them both on your shopify and integrate it with your tiktok uh, snapchat ads. as soon as that happens you're able to put an ad up and um, so the first thing you gotta do as soon as you've done that so i've already got pixel running and as soon as obviously i haven't signed up on my shopify store yet so as you need to sign up and integrate your shop snapchat ad store you can then copy paste enter your snap pixel and then it'll connect um so yeah that, as soon as that's done that's it then you just go back to your snapchat ads manager and then you're able to put on ads so this is the thing this is the process of what you gotta do so the first thing you gotta do as soon as you've got a product in mind is winning is working well on tiktok ads got some sales coming in that exact same video that's working on tiktok as the same portrait video layout you use it for snapchat use the same exact video you only need one video remember on my tiktok ads part where you have to use five different videos five to ten different videos you have to use for the aco automated creative optimization you gotta use five to ten videos over here you can just use one one good video will do the job so this is what you gotta do now so if you go create campaign it'll come up so you go manage ads um create ads or whatever manage ads it'll come up here create campaign and this is what you gotta do so as soon as you go on this page you always gotta do website conversions very very important um and this is what you gotta do so website conversions so call it call it some name of your it's called a campaign something you know no it doesn't matter so if we just call it first testing <coughs> As soon as that's done, that's done. You don't need to click this, leave that. Don't need to click that. And it's always good to promote it the next day. The next day and I've actually tested that many times and what I found is from 4 a.m. in the morning actually works best. And it's a very, very good number because people are starting to wake up and the ad starts at 5, 6 a.m. in the morning and people are waking up and people are going to see the video. So it's 4 a.m. in the morning, very, very good time to start their ad for the next day. 6th of Jan, you know, next day we'll do it up, we'll, we'll do the job. So, this leave that doesn't don't even touch that. Um, so yeah, just go to the next part here, and you gotta make this. 
so now you, you, you just change his name as soon as you decided what, you know, what targeting you want to do for the day. So for the first day, always have minimum 20 pound. You can do 50 pound, 50, 60 pound or whatever, but minimum 20 pound when you're starting off. All right. And when you're testing on testing that product out. But what I found is if you whatever product are working on TikTok as it will actually generally work for Snapchat. So if you find a winning product is working on TikTok as making you profit and you move on move to put it on Snapchat as it will work. So so twenty pound let's test it off today and that's what you gotta do when I'm testing a product out. I use twenty pound in a day. Um make automatic um placement, that's fine, do that. Um yes, just leave it make automatic payments recommended as well. So you united kingdom or just focus on your own country that's what you should be doing focus on one country with the united kingdom and um, the country you're living in who you're targeting um, so yeah just do that or if you want the us you can do that as well but but yeah 18 plus very very important you gotta do 18 to 50 plus very very important languages it's good to have english but if you're in a british if you're an english speaking country already um, you don't need to change. You don't need to do much of this. So if you're obviously in France, Germany, it would be good to put English. But yeah, I'll just put English anyways. But it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, now it, all you gotta do now is being on TikTok ads. It was very different where you have to test that that test the ad out with a general audience, so a general targeting. No, you don't need to put a specific interest targeting group but on Snapchat. You have to actually put a specific audience um that interest like interest targeting audience so if you go to the predefined audiences now if your product is related to you know a kitchen product or a woman product you have to pick one one of these squares here for your product so yeah you whatever is related to you for example it's like a sports product you're selling i want you to just click on sports fans that is it um, and you can also test out all the other audiences, but what I found is whatever product interest that is related to your product, click that, and you'll find a winning interest. But at the start, just pick one uh, and see how that goes. But what else I do? What other things I do as well? If you got some more money, so you can spend five different ad sets with five different interests. So. 20 pound one ad set i can test out or to automotive um enthusiasts i can click that so one ad set 20 pound that's done i can do another ad set where i do sports fans separately and i will put an ad up for so for five ad sets 20 pound different interests will be 100 pound in one day and i will decide then you know which which ad set interest targeting group has given me the most money and then i can, I can find the actual winning um interest targeting ad set and i can just focus on that one ad set and uh, you know interest and then i can scale it forward so this is what you gotta do so when you're starting off pick one interest only one don't go in depth it's not good to go in depth it's just go to the ones that are like red you know got the big big triangles next to them so this these ones here um pick one pick one um interest and then that's done. so i just pick sports fans that's it um pixel audience you don't need to click this that's fine expand audience automatically turn that off you don't need to do that that's very important um that's it don't need to touch this unless you have a specific product for a phone yeah and we don't need to touch that and turn this off turn this off carrier don't need to do that now this is you know this is the thing where you got to do now it's very very important um now you have to have a pixel purchase you need to allow this pixel purchase to come up as soon as you you know you want it you want your ads to work you want this pixel purchase option to come up right now i don't have it um so because i i made a new pixel and how it works is as soon as you get this pixel purchase optimization for your pixel it will come up as soon as you get like i think it's like 15 to 20 um add to carts or swipe ups if you get a specific number of swipe ups you'll get this unlocked page view as, as in the amount of if you get like 15 20 page views you get like add to carts unlocked as soon as you get you know 20 add to carts you'll get pixel purchase unlocked so 
the best thing to do this is the trick is to get this pixel purchase unlocked because if you because right now if you put just swipe up you're not going to get much sales you're not going to make profit so what is a bit weird you know they don't have the pixel optimal they don't want your pixel to be optimized for purchase yet they don't want you want to gain data for your pixel for in order for it to work which i can understand but i want to make money quickly so to be able to go past this phase you have to go on Shopify as soon as you get your pixel connected to your Snapchat as to your Shopify. You have to go back to your store and as, as you know the orders you make, um you should make around twenty to thirty fake draft orders. So how that works is you, you so you, you basically pay you get like it, it, you can do this few ways you can do it. you can make you know you can go and search on google how to make a draft order on shopify it's not hard you can go on youtube so you have to make around 20 to 30 you know draft orders for yourself to unlock unlock the pixel purchase platform pixel purchase and um, pixel optimization for your pixel so when you get that available then i want you to use pixel purchase and then go f go through with the ad set so right now you can just go through the swipe you know optimize the pixel with the swipe up so but in order to get the sales you need to get this pixel purchase ready so if you have to make some fake sales and and trick the system in a way where you you've got like 20 30 at the cars 20 30 you know purchases made in order to per you know you know to, to unlock this phase so as soon as you get the pixel up to purchase phase unlocked you can really get going with it um yeah so I'll, i think the exact number i did it before i got my pixel ready and um, let me i can send you below that what kind of numbers you need um for the the pix pixel purchase to be unlocked i'll tell you the exact numbers you need what how many at the cost you need how many swipe ups you need to unlock this but right now you just need to you need, as soon as you get this pixel purchase and unlocked you can then click on this that's the one that will give you the that will make you the sales that's why a lot of people on Snapchat are not making the sales because they go through the long process of getting the amount of swipe ups at the start and the page views at the start is a bit difficult. So this is what you need to do. You get the pixel purchase ready unlocked and then that's where you click on that. And then here you just do the auto bid. That's where you got the auto bid and that's it. And then go next. As soon as you've done that, you got to just put your brand name on your website. Yeah, that's on your Shopify store headline call it do something related to your pro two three words four words not much um you know it should not be a long long sentence two three four words except in explaining what the product is or what the product is you know exactly um but yeah and then this is where you upload the video you upload the video the tiktok ads video you obviously did on that and you just copy paste it on here one video that's it call to action you need to always have order now shop now whatever that's why i usually use put your website here they want to do you want them to direct to um, and that's it that's all you gotta do um yeah keep this on keep this on that's it and then you review and publish first day you probably will be a bit more time for take snapchat ads to to review the process but as soon as that first review goes by then all the future ads you put up will be very very easy to do so right now probably the best thing would be to look at how to make draft orders on Shopify so you can make you know fake sales and and trick the system of snapchat that you got those sales and then that's why you're putting the pixel will know that you got some sales coming in through your swipe ups and then you can unlock um you know the the the, the purchase optimization so you can watch this video you can do that um but i'll go on snapchat as now one second snapchat snapchat ads manager pixel events <clears throat> I need to find the exact number that you need to unlock one of those second conversions
There it is. You need to. What are the minimum thresholds to access the pixel bid options based on individual event or conversion events? Minimum need. Minimums need to be reached on an individual event base since these are unique actions taken by Snapchat. Right now, to access pixel bidding, you must be tracking at least 11 of the corresponding events in the last 30 days. Yeah, so you need to do 11 times. Yes. All right, so this is where you have to just read this. This is where it tells you exactly. I read this. Um, so as soon as you get this. So you're on 11 swipe ups on your store. So you go on your website, act like you're the customer. Yeah, act like you're a customer on your website, on your phone. Do 11 swipe ups. Do 11 at the carts. Do 11 purchases with the pixel on it. And as soon as you've done that, you'll get this pixel purchase unlocked. And it will work. So that will, that's probably the best thing you got to do. So have this done. Just use draft orders, try to make fake orders, try to act like your customer, and that bidding goal will be unlocked. So yeah, this is the video for the Snapchat ads. And as soon as you, you got this ad running, £20 ad, if I go back now, manage ads. If you get that ad running, I want you to now go back to your ads as that the ad was obviously you made. You should be able to now clone that. But first, get that rad running for next day. If you get sales, two, three sales, you know, very, very good. It's getting profitable. I want you to clone that ad set. And this is probably the best way to scale this, scale um, your Snapchat ads. Is scale one of your 20 pounds, another 20 pounds. So, and but do not let the ad run more than one day. So you should turn off the ads every time and make new ads every single day. So this ad I just made for tomorrow, I want you to turn off 11 p.m. 11 30 p.m. before the day ends and you make another ad set again don't use don't keep the ad running again and again and again next day next day next day keep the make new ads every single day and so yeah and then right now so you got a 20 pound if it does well for the next day make 20 pound ad set but duplicate it so you got 40 pound run that you get profit perfect then what you do is gradually increase your ad sets budget every single day so if i write this down now if i go back to your snapchat as a document here so you got 20 pound ad set you got one interest if it if it works you know you got sales good it's is working and then what you do is duplicate the ad set 20 pound for next day after so you will have 40 pound a day ads now you have two 20 pound ad sets with a specific interest and each ad set I want you to increase the budget by 20% a day every single day so right now 20 pound you got two 20 pound ad sets you know 40 pound ad spend a day each of the ad sets so you go from 20 pound you can put it up put that increase the budget to 25 pound a day so then you have now two 25 pound ad sets so it's now 50 pound ad spent in a day so you got to keep on increasing the ad sets of your of your ad set of your uh, you know budgets every single day and this is how you increase it so here you'll have the ad sets here so if you have two ad sets obviously running much think of it right now this is the two two ad sets i've got 20 pound each if it's working i want you to increase the price every single day but 
you know up a notch by 20 you know by five pound or 20 10 pounds so 20 percent up every single day and that's it you just keep on increasing the budget and as soon as you your performance drops you stop increasing so you keep on increasing the budget every single day until your performance drops and that's your power mark and that's where you should be stuck to so yeah that's what you should be doing and um, keep on increasing the budget that's how you scale it start off you can you, you can also uh, you can actually start off with 10 pound but yeah 20 pound is good as well um but it depends on you 20 pound i always focus on the start and then as soon as it works 25 pound go up i'll put the prices up for each one by five pounds every single day um but yeah that's how the scaling strategy works so duplicate one ad set so you got two 20 pound ad sets and then you just increase the budgets every single day and i could have like 200 pounds each um you know making a lot of money so it just depends on how much you're able to scale so yeah that's how snapchat ads work snapchat ads testing works and you just keep on scaling vertically and horizontally by duplication and also increasing the budget so yeah if you have any more questions ask in the duke's chat i'm able to uh, help you out um, but yeah this this is pretty much the best model out there where you can really get high high return on investments by far better than tiktok ads problem with the snapchat ads though you're not able to scale more rapidly you can't like it's a bit more difficult to get the high end revenues but it is like you get really good crazy returns on this from just low ad spends which i really really like tiktok you can really scale rapidly but snapchat you can't but you if you spend like for example 50 pound a day you make 200 pound back in a day that's average two three hundred pounds this, this that's what the returns is way more higher for low ad spend but yeah follow that get the drafts ready get the pixel purchase ready on on your snapchat as as soon as that works then it's perfectly done so yeah any more questions ask in the chat peace out boys boys and girls